and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I cannot wait to share with you the outfits that I have styled with what's probably my most exciting purchase of fall thus far and that is these big white cowboy boots. So without further ado, let's get into it. When you're adding something that's a little bit more bold, like these bright white knee-high cowboy boots to your everyday wardrobe, I think one of the biggest things for me is to make sure that you don't look like you're wearing a costume. And how I've done that in this video is to pair more modern things with them. Of course, you know, it's fun to give a little nod to Western wear, like wearing this white button up shirt that's tied up. Definitely very cowgirl if you ask me. However, having it paired with this silk skirt and then also with a more modern purse as well, I think really takes away from that costumey vibe. And I actually love this outfit. I think it's one of my favorites in the entire video. One thing that I have been consistently seeing online are girls just pairing white cowboy boots with an all black dress, like a little black dress. I think you can do a really cute one for daytime, maybe something with like a puffy sleeve. And here I have a dress that I think would be appropriate for going out. And I actually can't wait to wear this out somewhere. This dress I haven't worn in years. I bought it for I think my 27th or my 28th birthday and I love the sleeves on it and how it's kind of like a little bit 70s vibes with those paired with the boots. I definitely felt like having some fun and dancing in this outfit, let me tell ya. I feel like when you're working with a somewhat more bold accessory like these boots, you can pair them with something that is a little bit more classic or a little bit less creative and still look like you put a lot of effort into your whole outfit. So here I've just paired the boots with these longer denim cutoff shorts. Those are from Zara. Again, that linen button up that is from Uniqlo and was in the first outfit. And this is my uh, take on the Dior bag and a much cheaper version from H&M. I feel like this outfit would be so cute for wandering around, having brunch, and I'm definitely going to make sure that I wear it before the weather gets any colder here. As we do get into that colder fall weather, one of my favorite, favorite things to do is wear big, oversized, chunky sweaters, pair them with some shorts underneath. If you're new here, I'm 5'10", so even a sweater dress usually is not quite long enough on me. Here you can definitely see that in the back that I need to be wearing those biker shorts. And today I actually layered this sweater vest. Again, they're both from Zara, the sweater and the sweater vest. Layered it over top of my big chunky favorite sweater from last season. And I really love the way that this looks, especially with the cowboy boots. As soon as we have a little bit of a cooler evening, I'm definitely pulling this out. One of the things that you've probably noticed so far in the video is that you've been able to see my bare legs in pretty much every single outfit. And that's because I think styling jeans with these cowboy boots is very hard to do without making it look costumey. I pulled in this denim dress just to show you that you can in fact style denim with them without it looking like you're about to hop on a pony but it is hard, I found, when you're trying to do that with a full length jean. One of the compromises that I found to be a little bit more covered up was to pair these boots with a faux leather legging underneath. So if you're like me and you've kind of gotten rid of all of your skinny jeans at this point and you don't have anything good to tuck into boots, Leggings, I think, work well with these. In this outfit, I know it's really hard to see the black on black on video sometimes, but this shirt is a little bit dressier. It's just a button up. I like wearing it buttoned down pretty low and it does cover my butt, so it's a pretty long shirt as well. This would be an outfit that I would feel great in going out for dinner or something. It's comfy, but it still looks nice. At this point, matching sets are definitely a staple in all of our wardrobes. And this one I did get a lot of wear out of this summer. 
This is obviously a more warm weather vibe going on again. However, I just wanted to try on this matching set with the cowboy boots and see how it looked since I think a lot of you have probably picked up something similar to this. Those pajama inspired sets were everywhere over the past couple of months. And I think that if you buy a new pair of shoes like I did with these cowboy boots, it's nice to try them on with outfits that you've already worn, things that you already know you like and see if you can dress them up a little bit. At this point, I am fine admitting that most of the shoes in my wardrobe are white. I don't know what it is, but I love wearing white and I just think that a white shoe or boot in this case looks the best when you have, you know, a white dress on or a white top on. And I loved the way that this looked paired with the denim jacket as well. I keep putting these cowboy boots with denim, but I guess it's just kind of a classic. The cropped jacket gives this oversized dress a bit more shape. This type of outfit with a blazer and then denim shorts is something that I have been loving all summer long. So I did want to try it out with these boots as well and see if the shorts and boots combo was too country Western for me. I do think that the juxtaposition of the blazer and the boots makes it a little bit more dressed up and modern. So I actually love the way that this turned out and and I think that I like it even better without the blazer if you're just wearing a nicer top like this one that's definitely a satin going out shirt. I feel like that looks really, really cute together. Some of you may think that this is a little bit of an absurd outfit and I can totally understand why. I mean, lounge wear up top, party cowboy boots down the bottom, but I do actually like the way that this looks for some reason. I mean, I love this outfit. I have worn this outfit with that sweater and biker shorts time and time again. It's truly a classic in my closet. So why not jazz it up with some cowboy boots? And I think that this would be a perfect outfit for traveling. If you're going somewhere, you're trying to pack light and you need to wear those boots with you on the plane. Maybe you'll catch me wearing this at an airport sometime very, very soon. And to finish it all off, this is a super casual outfit where I am using those black faux leather leggings again, and I've just paired them with an oversized t-shirt and a big oversized denim jacket as well. I think that this is just a quintessential, easy to wear, comfortable, casual outfit, but if you want to make it a little bit more fun, you can pair it with the cowboy boots instead of like, like an Air Force One or you know some other different type of sneaker. As always, I hope that this video has helped inspire you with different ways that you can wear your cowboy boots or Western inspired boots this season. And if you're still here, I really hope that you'll consider clicking that subscribe button down below and joining me every single Wednesday as I post a new video. With that, I guess I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.